Hello? We're here to interview you. We heard you have some new things coming up. I got some new things coming up. You, you, you gonna interview me? Yeah, can we? Yeah, come on, come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, let me get nice. What's up? Thank you. What you wanna ask me? Hey, what's your name? My name is Action J. Jackson. And where are you from? I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. LeBron James, then the, the uh, should have been Super Bowl champion Bengals, Cincinnati Bengals. Define your style in three words. My style in three words. Yes. I'll do it in one word. Retro futuristic. What got you into music? What got me into music? Um, well, my grandfather and my father were both DJs, so I used to watch them practice on on in the basement. Um, my mom always listens to singer songwriters, like the most beautiful songs, and my grandmother always used to listen to gospel. So like all those things are like, mm, love it. Come on in. Three music influences. Three musical influences. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Three musical influences. That's a great question. Three musical influences. Um, Michael Jackson. This is probably going to be a surprise, but this Kenny Loggins. If you're not hip to Kenny Loggins, you should check him out. Kenny Loggins and Kanye West. Or Yee. What's your favorite three movies? My favorite three movies. Uh, Tenacious D and The Pick of Destiny. All of the Fridays. <laughs> and anything Marvel. Uh, describe your dream project. The next one. <laughs> if you could open a show for any artist, who uh -huh. would it be? For any artist, who would it be? Um, Michael Jackson, if, if, if an artist has passed away, and Anderson Pack for one that's alive, I think he's amazing. We're both drummers, rappers, singers, but we do totally different things, but the same thing. I think that'd be nice. What would you be doing right now if you didn't have music career? I'd be a chef. I'd have a little little shop in the middle of nowhere, and, and people would come from all over just to try a few dishes. Not a few, like maybe a 12-course crazy dinner, you know, uh, whatever I felt like doing that day. I, I think I'd definitely be like just a world-class chef. Where have you performed? Oh, man, everywhere. Uh, I spent the last 12 years performing in Thailand, Indonesia, uh, Vietnam, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, 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 that is Malaysia, <laughs> uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, China, Korea, Oman, Dubai, a few other places. What's your favorite song to perform? The newest one. Maybe the one that's coming out, too. What's the most trouble you ever got into? The most trouble I've ever gotten into. Oh, okay. Well, that's easy. Um, the day before my graduation, I decided to go out and smoke I don't even know how many blunts and drink I don't know how many fifths of E&J with my homeboys, Chill Phil, you know who you are. <laughs> and uh, I got so fucked up that uh, I slept and, uh, and passed out, woke up, my phone had 92 missed calls. <laughs> I'll never forget it, 92 missed calls. The first message that I picked up was my homeboy Keith and he was like, hey man, I don't know if what's going on man, but your mom called me, you should be looking, you should be okay, you all right man, where you at? Um, but I got into so much shit, I couldn't go to any graduation parties afterwards, and it was the day before the graduation rehearsal, so I was late to that, and I showed up piss drunk. What is the best advice you've been given? The best advice I've ever been given uh, was by my mother. She said, she used to say, uh, you can do hard things, you just need to work a little harder. What's next for you? What's next for me? Wow. Well, I got a new single coming out April 1st called Do Your Thing. Um, I'm musical directing for so many artists here in Thailand and, and around the world. I'm writing and producing for a lot of artists now. I'm writing and producing for our own artists here at New Classic Music. Um, I plan on releasing a lot of music this year and uh, doing a lot of other things. I'm very excited. Oh, plus I'm making a, I have a drum school called Get Chops Now University. Uh, I'm teaching lessons and mentoring uh, kids and, and peers in the industry as well as musicians. Um, so yeah, like it's it's a lot going on, definitely. Oh, bonus question. Bonus question, yes. For the interviewer, where is that in your back? What is this on yes. my back? This? Oh, that's my schedule. <laughs> uh, that's my schedule, my Spanish lessons, everything I need to get done today, uh, everything that's gonna that's coming up that needs to get done at some point, my hopes and dreams. I need a studio space. Um, as you can see, we in the kitchen. This is where this is where all the magic and everything I just told you has been built right here in this kitchen and in this little space. Um, I'm not ashamed of it at all. I'm proud of it to be honest. So, yeah, and we're looking to empty that and then fill it up and then empty that and then fill it up. Thank you.
Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you for coming by, man. Let me take oh. you out. I'm gonna, let me show you. I'm gonna show you to the door. You got what you needed? That was a good interview? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. No problem. Well, so let me, when's the music coming out? April 1st. You can get it. It's called Get It's called Get Chops Now University. No. <laughs> it's called Do Your Thing. It's a new single. Uh, and there's a side A and a side B. And it's a beautiful song that, that represents both sides of me. Um, my grandmother, who gave me spirit and optimism. My grandfather, who gave me entertainment music and, and more optimism. And they both gave me the love of God. And, and the love to giving. So I'm looking forward to giving to y'all. Yeah. Thank you. Yo, see no you. problem. I'm gonna see you for sure. You be safe out there.